All right, so this is a uh, papule from the face of an older sun damaged person, and clinically, they were concerned for basal cell carcinoma. When we get closer, we can see there's a little ulceration. And in the dermis, we have a bunch of uh, cells. And looking closer, these cells are mostly neutrophils. So we have a collection of neutrophils as well as some lymphocytes and histiocytes all mixed together here in the dermis. So it's kind of like a, uh, like a tiny, almost like a tiny little abscess. And there's some edema there, and then there's ulceration of the surface. But we don't see anything that looks like basal cell carcinoma. So what are we going to do with this? We, you know, what, what would make this happen? Well, the answer is right here. These are keratinocytes. And these keratinocytes are not here. This is not a squamous cell carcinoma or a tumor. This is actually a, a hair follicle that was inflamed and ruptured. So this is a ruptured folliculitis. And I know that sounds pretty boring, but this is actually something that we see on a daily basis, multiple times a day, where these little ruptured follicles um, can be hard to tell apart from basal cell carcinoma clinically sometimes. So recognizing that is really helpful. So if I see a little tiny focus of granulomatous inflammation or neutrophil inflammation, even if I can't see the follicle, if it's a little bump in a solitary small papule and it looks like a basal cell clinically, oftentimes that's gonna be representative of a folliculitis. Even if you can't see the follicle, I'll oftentimes say, well, it's probably, it's suggestive of a folliculitis. But if you cut deeper sections, sometimes you'll be lucky and find the follicle. And I think, let's see down here, ah, and see, look, cut deeper. You can still see that little neutrophil collection, little fragments of keratin in here. But look over here. Now the follicle is a little more organized. And not only do you have follicular epithelium, but going up, what's that? That is a hair. So there's a little naked hair shaft that's come out, the follicle's ruptured, and the hair has fallen out into all this um, inflammatory mixture. Let's see if we can show it. See, it's refractile. So the hair is a, a little refractile hair shaft right there. And then there's the rest of the hair follicle epithelium, and then the hair shaft and then all this inflammatory change in the surrounding dermis. So this is a nice example of something kind of boring, uh, but something that's clinically important and that, you know, there's a lot of time that I spend on little biopsies for rule out basal cell that I try to figure out, is there a tiny basal cell that I just need to cut deeper to see? Is it a ruptured follicle? Is it a, just um, a dilated hair follicle with some telangic tasias around it? You know, is it something else? What's actually causing this little bump that the dermatologist is seeing? So even though this is not an exciting rare diagnosis, this is a straightforward everyday thing that you have to deal with. And and um, knowing about ruptured uh, hair follicles is, uh, is helpful. So we've got to know the basic stuff and the uh, rare zebra things too.